I get really irritated at people who try to say, well, you know, classical liberalism, I'm a liberal, classical liberalism. Um, that might have been, in the, here in the United States, um, yeah, you could have said you're a liberal with your beliefs if it was, you know, 60 to 80 years ago. But trying to claim that now, uh, no. I mean, if you go far back enough in time, uh, the Democrats and the Republicans kind of swapped places. The Democrats were originally the ones that were supporting slavery. But that got swapped around. Right? Should we judge uh, what Democrats and Republicans are based off of that period? Should we even base it off what it was 40 years ago? Apparently not. I mean, how about, how about 30 years ago? How about Reagan? Let's look at Reagan. According to Republican standards now, uh, Reagan would be considered a Democrat. And that's just, you know, 30 years ago. And yet, you know, some of you are saying we should, uh, we should define what being liberal is based off of things from 60 to 80 years ago. Uh, no, sorry, it doesn't work that way. It just doesn't. And a lot of you who want to re want to define, not redefine, or put words back to what they were before, um, those of you wanting to define liberalism as as the classical liberalism, or some even people even will, will try to consider neoliberalism somehow a left wing, even though it's clearly uh, center right. Um, will get upset when people mention things like slavery and the way black people used to be treated, uh, at, you know, and the history showing that, hey, there's still bits of that going on now. And you'll go, well, you know, why are you bringing up the past? Why are you bringing up history? Well, why are you bringing up history? Why are you trying to define what liberal is based off of 60 to 80 year old standards? I mean, come on. One person was saying, well, you know, if you don't like Sar Sargod's, uh, uh, Sargon of Akkad, Sargod, uh, if you don't like uh, his way, well, then go to uh, Stefan Molyneux. Maybe he'll be more uh, uh, palatable. Stefan Molyneux, the person who parrots anarcho-capitalist libertarianism, that guy? The guy who takes an hour to say something that could have been said in five minutes, that guy? Him? Yes, uh, yes, anarcho-capitalist uh, libertarians, that, that's a left-wing position. No, it isn't. Knock it off. Okay, and some of you will go, well, you know, uh, in uh, some other countries, uh, th you know, they, they look at politics differently. I don't fucking care. We're talking about the United States right now. We're talking about presidential candidates in the United States. The, uh, the, a country that views all these terms totally different is fucking meaningless to this discussion. I don't want to hear about it. If you, we want to talk about things related to your country, fine. But right now we're talking about the United States. We're talking about two fucked up presidential candidates in the United States. We're talking about two of the very worst choices the United States has ever had when it comes to presidential candidates. Okay, our choices are shit. One type of pile of shit versus another type of pile of shit. But let's muddy everything up. And let's only criticize Hillary. And let's not criticize Trump. Let's criticize current left-wing values and put up on a pedestal things that are current right-wing values and then say, oh, but I'm a liberal. Okay, if you want to say that you're an independent or you're what liberalism used to mean many decades ago, you know, fine.
but don't sit there and say, oh, I am I am a liberal when you you you're not shoving forth things that shove forth liberal values. Now I understand there are a number of independents out there. There are people who think there are some good things on this side, some good things on this side. Fine, that's that's totally understandable. But don't just sit there and oh I'm a liberal. No. <laughs> no. Again, what liberal meant 80 years ago is meaningless to a conversation about now, to a conversation about present times, okay? If bringing up the past is unacceptable for one thing, it should be unacceptable for other things. You know, if it's unacceptable to bring up when it comes to the way black people were treated, then it should be unacceptable to bring up when it comes to trying to describe uh, the current political climate. Don't be using 80-year-old standards on the present. Thanks.